Metaphysics is the branch of philosophy that studies existence and is the basis of the objectivist philosophy. It is the difference between knowing the universe is knowable and believing that the universe is unknowable. You cannot escape reality, and therefore any metaphysical philosophy that denies the primacy of existence for the primacy of consciousness is depriving itself of functioning in reality. The rest of their arguments may follow to various conclusions, all of which are hollow at the core and are merely mental masturbation exercises. The primacy of existence holds that existence exists, independent of consciousness, that reality is what it is, and that objects in reality have a specific nature, an identity. Consciousness is the faculty of perceiving reality. To deny the primacy of existence is to say that the universe depends on conscious thought, somehow. Without getting into the science of the reality underlying existence, I want to build an abstract physical realm in which further videos may flourish. The aim of this video is simply to lay out the physical reality that will underpin all further videos, which will be justified throughout the channel's playlist when necessary. The universe began forming with a sudden expanse of space-time. At this time, everything in the known universe was very hot and highly energetic. As the universe expanded, its contents had more room to spread out and cool off. Within a second of the event, the energy cooled enough to convert into matter. Further cooling resulted in the formation of hydrogen and helium. The universe cooled to a point where gravity was able to overcome thermal radiation, leading to large clouds of simple elements, points of mass gravitationally attracted to each other. Gravity is the warping of space-time caused by objects with mass. Thermal radiation is the outward pressure energetic particles produce. The formation of a star starts with a cloud of particles floating through space-time. When a mass of clouds gets dense in one area, gravity is enacted as the mass is warping space-time, creating a potential well for the other particles to fall towards. An increase in cloud density increases pressure and temperature. Temperature excites the particles, and the high-energy particles may have the kinetic energy to escape the gravity well. If the cloud is small, the effects may cancel and nothing happens. If the cloud is large, the mass may warp the space-time enough to trap those high-energy particles inside. The temperature can reach a point where all the electrons are removed from the atom, and all that is left are the protons and neutrons. At high enough temperatures, these ions can fuse together to create new stable particles. This is called fusion. The hydrogen and helium of the first stars produce lithium, carbon, oxygen, nitrogen, iron, and other elements in a process of fusion. When the individual stars explode, it is because the core can no longer sustain fusion. When the first stars exploded into a supernova, this most likely caused a chain reaction of nearby stars to also explode, and together they created vast clouds of just about every element in the known universe. These supernovae created the galaxies. The Milky Way is a galaxy we call home. Our sun was formed from a molecular cloud of hydrogen, helium, and metals. Sol, or the Sun, is an example of a low-mass star which converts hydrogen to helium, which makes it a member of the main sequence stars. The main process of fusion in our Sun is called the proton-proton chain reaction. It takes in four hydrogen protons, making one helium-4 proton, two hydrogen protons, along with other subatomic particles, and 26.73 mega electron volts in the form of multiple gamma rays. These reactions fuse about 600 million tons of hydrogen into helium every second. That results in millions of gamma rays per second interacting with other particles in the sun, which will heat the interior of the sun. Those gamma rays are what balance gravity by adding energy to the interior. Because of all the other particles in the sun, the gamma rays interact with billions of particles and they wander around like a drunk under a street lamp. It will take the gamma rays around 10,000 to 170,000 years to escape from the star. These escaping photons are the source of light and heat from the sun. However, because of the interaction in the sun, the photons have lost a lot of energy, to the point where the sun emits light in a range of ultraviolet to infrared. Gamma rays are not the only thing to escape the sun. Streams of charged particles called plasma, which is made up of electrons, protons, and high kinetic energy alpha particles, called the solar wind, also escapes the sun. 
The solar wind moves supersonically, ranging between 250 to 750 kilometers per second, and pushes interstellar gas away, which results in an expanding heliosphere. Not every part of the supernovae cloud fell into the sun, and those molecular clouds of carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, hydrogen, iron, gold, uranium, etc., formed into planets. The planets formed in concentric rings around the sun because of the rotation of the sun, the rotation of the cloud that formed a spinning ball of gas. One of these planets resides in a region of space-time around the sun about eight light minutes away, and consists of a tiny fraction of the particles from the original molecular cloud. This small rocky planet has a solid iron core and a liquid spherical shell around the core. The metal liquid moving over the iron core generates a magnetic field. This magnetic field interacts with the solar wind similar to how the heliosphere interacts with the interstellar wind. Within the waters of this planet, near the thermal jets arose the simple building blocks that would become life. Life is a process of self-sustaining and self-generated action. And that process, like all physical action, requires energy. Unlike electrons in an atom that must wait for energy to reach them, life sustains its energy by seeking it. The requirement of an individual organism to act or die caused an innumerable amount of life to die. But the organisms that acted proper to their lives reproduced. This fight for survival led to drastic changes over time, and the science of measuring this change is called evolution. The drastic changes over billions of years created and killed many types of creatures, one of which was a very complex bipedal organism. In fact, it created many forms of them. Most did not survive. Some intermingled and reproduced. The fact of the matter is, that a group of creatures began to focus on the physics around them, and their in-depth observations began to mentally concretize a metaphysics, regardless of whether they were correct or not.